So what the heck is the difference between Adobe Premiere Pro and Premiere Elements? Hey, this is Meredith from vidpromom.com and here on my YouTube channel, I publish tips and tricks and tutorials and things like that for editing videos like your GoPro videos, family movies, videos for your YouTube channel or your business or your personal brand or whatever you have going on. Personally, I use Premiere Pro a lot, but I also have Premiere Elements, so what the heck is the difference? As the name Premiere Pro suggests, Premiere Pro is a more professional video editing platform, and Premiere Elements is more consumer level, but what does that even really matter to you? And if you're completely new to video editing, I can send you my guide on five tips to getting started with Premiere Elements. Just let me know over at vidpromom.com slash elements, and I'll send it directly to your inbox. So hop onto my computer with me and let's take a look at the differences between Premiere Pro and Premiere Elements. So here's what a typical workspace layout looks like in Premiere Pro versus Elements. Premiere Pro's workspace is customizable, um, but I have mine set up like this, which is pretty typical. So the timeline runs across the bottom and any media stuff is over on the left hand side and that's pretty much the same as how it's set up in Premiere Elements as well. Premiere Elements has a ton of video editing capabilities that should satisfy your needs to create family videos, GoPro videos, vacation videos, photo montage videos for birthdays, anniversaries, or funerals, or videos for your blog, your business, or your YouTube channel. Premiere Pro has a ton of video editing capabilities of course, but it's geared more for professional level video editors and filmmakers. I love Premiere Pro and I use it to edit most of my YouTube videos. But I also really, really like video editing in general and I love learning new things. Speaking of learning new things, Premiere Elements has this really neat thing uh, with these different views and it's kind of like having training wheels when you're getting started and I'll talk more about that in just a minute. So when I first started learning how to edit video, I didn't just jump right into Premiere Pro. I learned on consumer level video editors first. And then when I was comfortable with that and I really wanted to learn more, and I really enjoyed doing it, I moved on to Premiere Pro. So there's also a pretty steep price difference between Premiere Pro and Premiere Elements. You can grab Premiere Elements from Amazon.com for about $70, and Premiere Pro CC, that's Adobe's Creative Cloud Suite, is gonna run you $20 a month or $50 for the entire Creative Cloud Suite. So. What's the difference? Well, the difference is really in your preference and what you want to achieve with your videos and your video editing. If you've been using consumer level video editors like iMovie or GoPro Studio, Windows Movie Maker, things like that, and you think you're ready to graduate, then I highly recommend Premiere Pro. I love using it. I actually have a how-to series on how to edit GoPro videos with Premiere Pro. It, it's really applicable no matter what kind of videos you're editing, but I'll put a link in the description below so you can get started with Premiere Pro if you're completely new to it. But if you're brand spanking new to video editing at all, then Premiere Pro might be too big of a leap for you. Premiere Elements is a great place to start learning video editing. So I put together a quick guide for five tips on getting started with Premiere Elements, including the training wheels feature that I was talking about earlier. And you can grab that guide for free at vidpromom.com slash elements. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have about Premiere Pro or Premiere Elements in the comments below, so just hit me up there. And if you would, give this video a little bit of love by giving it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.